Hey everyone, Girl Mace Pixels here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Pets and Generations. So in the very last part, we had the hardest time financially and energy-wise, and honestly, Evelyn just struggled taking care of the twins, and Rylan had a hard time just, I feel like, just with work and at home, and they were both just exhausted by the end of the part <laughs> and I just feel so bad that they're struggling so hard. I have honestly never had sims like have this many issues before uh, mostly with money and I don't know I feel like it, it is interesting to keep the realism of the fact that you know they do have a lot of pets they do um, have a growing family and that does cause your bank account to struggle a bit so it's just been tough tough few parts but hopefully this part we can change some things around we can finish this monstrosity of a upstairs <laughs> i seriously hate it so much it's so ugly i've never had this ugly of a house either also i did want to talk to you guys about some changes that i made and will currently be working on for the next few parts so I felt like this LP was speeding up a little bit too fast. I felt like we weren't getting things done that I wanted to get done. And so I told you guys back in the very beginning of this LP that if I ever felt like age-wise that things were not working out and that I just felt too rushed, that I would go in and change my settings. So they're still on the normal lifespan. Um, but we did change it so that now they will be at, I guess, 111 some days approximately. Um, and these are their new settings. So I just lengthened their life stages one by one, just a smidge, just a tiny, tiny little bit. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. Uh, I just feel like I want to get more into a storytelling gameplay than just pure gameplay for this series. I normally play my current households. If you guys watch my current household videos or even just watch my live streams um, and have seen how I play those families, it's a lot of storytelling, obviously still gameplay, just regular gameplay, but there's also a story to each and every single one of those Sims. And I feel like that is what's lacking in this LP. I mean, I'm not struggling with this LP, of course. I love this LP the way it is right now. So much fun, <laughs> seriously enjoy it so much. But I do feel like we need a storytelling aspect to it. I just feel like it needs an, a little extra something, something. So what we're going to be doing, oh, poor Rylan has work. I did um, add in, I added in Rylan's family. Yes, I know. I went and created them in Create a Sim and they are now in the world of Storybrook County and I'll kind of explain more of their story and everything a little bit later on. Uh, I'm hoping that when Rylan gets home from work that we will be able to go and meet up with them. Uh, but right now, Rylan does have to go to the bathroom very bad. <laughs> he is pretty tired. He honestly did not get a good night's sleep. So work is going to be a little tough for him. Uh, but hopefully we can, I don't know, hopefully he'll be fine. He'll be fine, right? He'll be fine. <laughs> hopefully he'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so yes, hopefully that little quick explanation gets you excited for these next few parts. Uh, right now, today will probably be a little bit more of the gameplay side, but I do want to get into just like a storytelling, um, character building kind of way with these Sims. Instead of it just being a, an LP where I just, you know, play the game. And of course he broke the sink. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Ryland. Appreciate it, buddy. Just go to work. Just get, get out of this house. Go, go to work. <laughs> Please just leave. Cause now Evelyn has to fix that. Um, but Evelyn's actually in a pretty decent mood. She is pregnant again, if you guys do recall from the last part. I think she found out in the last part. Uh, so pretty exciting. Still pretty early on. I know that Ryland is hoping for a boy, which I am too. I really want them to have a boy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're not, I mean, being that they have the twin girls and they're needing five babies-ish in total, we're getting pretty close to that goal. I mean, we already have two down, so not, not too far off. Uh, let's see. We should probably clean Iggy's terrarium too. Oh, that anoli lizard got loose. Darn it. Oh, I forgot that was in his inventory. Darn it. Oh, also, Mateo, I think he found a few gems or, um, I don't know what they're called, like little stones or whatever. Okay. Um, so we did send those in and I am hoping, oh, not, not right, Linda, he's at work. I'm hoping that they are in the mail. They're supposed to be here today, I think. Hopefully, hopefully. Because uh, they could definitely give us some money, which we need. We really need that moolah. We really do. And the girls are sleeping in today. Well, I mean, to eight. 
in the morning, which is pretty good, honestly, for babies and toddlers to sleep into. So we ain't going to complain about that. Um, but it looks like Arden, right, Arden? <laughs> I keep getting their names all messed up. Oh, wow. Is this her outerwear? Girl, <laughs> you styling, though. You styling. Okay. Um, Arden does have a diaper, though, so we might have to wake her up kind of soon. But I think we'll just let her wake up on her own. Okay, hopefully, ooh, what's that? What's that? Ooh, okay, so we got our gold and emerald cut smoky quartz in the mail. Let's see. Ooh, okay, so this will give us 25 simoleons. Not shabby. I mean, we'll take what we can get at this point. Ooh, and the gold is 126. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. That gives us a little something. That gives us a little something. By the end of this part, we'll try and fix the upstairs. That's like a tragedy, you know? Uh, <laughs> honestly, it's stressing me out. I'm just trying to pretend that's not up there. I don't know why I started this and then didn't finish it. Like, I should have just not started it, but I already, like, am invested into it, and I don't want to delete it, so it's just like, what am I going to do? I don't know. And, oh, Arden's up. Okay, I'm like, I'm waiting for the girls to wake up. She currently cannot do her career uh, right now because, yeah, she can't be um, doing her daycare stuff because she's pregnant. And apparently pregnant women can't do anything ever. So, you know, <laughs> uh, it's kind of frustrating though. <sighs> but it'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be able to make money somehow. I'm thinking, I don't know, some of you guys were suggesting maybe doing some gardening on the indoors. Right now we don't really have the space at the moment. I mean, maybe right here we could. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Aw, cute. They're so adorable. Let's um, tickle her. Let's get her social up. And we'll then come put her in the high chair. Oh my gosh, the cats are glitching out in here. <laughs> oh, so cute. They're so cute. Okay, how's Mateo doing? Oh, he's going to go bark at the male lady. Buddy, you kind of need to go get your needs up a bit too. Yeah, the pets are struggling. Like, oh, they need more space, I think, which is part of the problem. <laughs> part of the problem. The other part being like money to be able to buy stuff, being able to buy that space. They're so cute though. The toddlers really are adorable. Uh, they will be aging up in five days, so not too bad. You know, that gives us some time to work on their skills, being that we really have not had the energy to do so. Although it's going to suck when she has another baby and has to take care of that baby and the toddlers. <laughs> Ooh, Ryland's hard work and effort has really paid off to the tune of a permanent extra five simoleons. Heck yes. Uh, Ryland no noticed that a student, wait, is she a potty trainer? Just potty trainer, girl. Come on, just listen to me, please. Come on. Goodness, they're like having issues, I swear. Uh, Ryland noticed that a student in another teacher's class was having trouble with an assignment. He gave the student a hand figuring out the problem, and the principal noticed and gave Ryland, Ryland a raise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay, good job, Ryland. Good for you, buddy. Now he makes 40 simoleons an hour. Or 40. Did I say 40? 4? 40? I don't know what I said. Anyways, so that's good. That's good. Even though he's in a bad mood right now. <laughs> I think I might have him... No, I think I'm going to have him just continue with his coworkers, socializing, uh, become friends with someone. Oh, he wants to make friends. <laughs> I think we'll lock that in. Riley does need to work on his relationships a bit. I'm excited because of his family being in town. He will now be able to have a little bit more family support. And like I said, I'll give the whole backstory on that in a bit. I just want to meet up with them first um, to kind of explain all that to you guys. How's the pets doing? I want Mateo to maybe go search for... Okay, he's sleeping. I was wanting him to go look for some more collectibles. That would be really nice. <laughs> it really would. Let's put in the high chair. Nora. So cute. Also, you guys have been leaving the most cutest baby names in the comment section. So I'm really excited for when this new baby is born because... I'm just, I love the baby names. They're just so much fun. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot Arden can walk. Girl, you're so cute. We'll have to put Nora in the walker then, maybe after she eats. Yeah, she's in a pretty good mood, actually. Uh, okay, let's give her a bottle. Aw, look how cute. She's, like, walking. Oh, so adorable. She's got the dragon. Oh, my gosh. I have to get a picture. I just have to. Okay, let's have her come over here and take a nap. Just a small little nap. Get in some energy while she can. Uh, while well, the girls are actually in pretty decent moods. I think we will try and put Nora in the baby walker so that she can learn to walk because that will help us out a bit so that we can just, we just have to teach them to potty train and to talk. So it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Look at that. They're all, everyone's actually in pretty decent moods except Ryland. <laughs> except Ryland at work who is exhausted. So he definitely will come home 
get some sleep, and then I think we'll try and meet up with his family, which ugh, I'm just so excited to show you guys. I really am. Oh no, the cat scratching post is like broken. Um, we have enough, I guess. Replace for 30. Oh wow, I d I've never had that happen actually in my game before. I almost always keep this like nice and fresh and replaced, you know? Uh, but I've never had that where it's like just completely broken. So we'll have Arden put down the toy that she's playing with. And we'll have Nora learn to walk. <gasps> Yay! Okay, we made some money, guys. And I think when Riley gets home, you know he's exhausted, I am going to have him check them out because I know that we had another kind of stone uh, rock thing that we sent in that needed to be um, cut or whatever. And so since the mail lady was just here, I'm thinking that's what that was for. Aw, so cute. Da bonza. Dija rola. Aww. So adorable. I seriously love it. It's just too cute. It's just too cute. And now, like, as a mom, like, I'm a mom myself, that, like, I find it just so much cuter when I see, like, the little sim babies and the sim toddlers and stuff. Okay, so, oh, Ryland's here. He's gonna, <laughs> poor guy, he's exhausted. Okay, he's gonna go sleep. Um, he did receive an emerald cut fluorite. Yes, that's right. It was fluorite. I remember I read up on this a bit after. <laughs> yes. I read up on this after the last part. Um, and it is worth a good amount of money. It's actually a pretty hard stone to find uh, normally. But uh, yeah, we found it, I guess. Uh, but it's 510 simoleons, which puts us at over 1,000 simoleons. You guys. We can fix this stupid house. <laughs> I'm gonna go in. Uh, I'll probably just do like a little speed um, build of it, or well, speed, I don't even know what you wanna call it. Uh, and we're gonna go fix this. We're gonna fix this house. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> we got that all worked out. I feel like it actually looks pretty decent. I was worried it's gonna look real like, mm, you know. But this is the new staircase we have. I changed it out from the other one because the other one was just so big. It was taking up so much space. Uh, this is the upstairs. It's kind of dark, I know. Um, and this is the bedroom. Really pathetic, but I mean, it's better than them sleeping in the living room. So I guess I will take that. <laughs> um, but Riley is going to go get a nap. <gasps> Nora just learned how to walk. Oh, I seriously love the baby walker so dang much, I swear. Seriously, so helpful. Wait, oh, oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> Guys, I thought it was done. I forgot to move this stuff back. I was having some issues of stuff fitting and it's just cause it's such a small house. Uh, and so this was like overlapping as you guys can see a little bit, but um, I forgot to put it back. <laughs> my V, my V. Okay, we'll just keep, leave that. That's fine. Okay, I think that was everything. Sorry, Ryland. Sorry. He's like, please, I just want to sleep. Let me sleep. Poor guy. <laughs> yeah, he's exhausted. So he's going to go sleep. And I think this evening he's going to try and go over to his parents' house, their new house, check it out. He's going to leave his family here. And he just wants to go and reconnect with them on his own, I think. And then maybe they'll have them over uh, sometime else this week so that they can meet the girls and the girls can have, you know, their grandparents in their life. I think that'd be just amazing. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. Today, I feel like this part has been 
a lot better than <laughs> what um, what we've been having. Seriously though, like we were struggling, but I feel so happy that we were able to get some money in today. Uh, and I feel like it's just we're all good, it really is. And do they have leftovers? Cause they might just eat leftovers for dinner. Yeah, they have a bunch of different leftover stuff. So I'm trying to avoid having her eat the waffles and the pancakes cause I don't want them to determine the gender or anything like that. So maybe she'll have some pie or grilled cheese or something like that. Uh, but that way she doesn't have to make dinner. Keeps things a little bit more simple for her. And Nora, or no, Arden, come over here. She's actually getting kind of hungry. So we might stick her in the high chair when we are done and feed her. And then I think Rylan is going to head off to his parents' house. So I'm excited. I'm excited. And I'm sure he's excited. He's probably so ha like happy to have family in town again. He grew up in such a big family that they were all really close. And now everyone's kind of ventured and gone like their own ways. So he's probably excited to reconnect. We're going to come over here. Are you going to go visit your parents in their new house? <laughs> come on, you can do it. Maybe he's just nervous. He's nervous about going and seeing his family after a few years. It's been probably quite a few years since he's last seen them. So he's maybe a little nervous and a lot's happened. A lot has changed. It really has. Okay, how's the girls real quick? Um, I'm thinking what we're going to do. I know this sounds horrible. I think we're just going to have Evelyn put them in the crib in crib Arden and then she'll head to bed herself we need to get them a coffee machine too I think <laughs> um but yeah Rylan is off we're gonna follow with him because I want to see his new parents house see how they're doing catch up maybe his uh, dad will come home and also his youngest brother because he does come from a very big family his youngest brother still lives with um their, their parents basically so um we'll see who's home though I think I think it's just his mom right now but we will see it's fine. But yeah, as you can see, like it's not even that far of a drive. And the reason why his family moved out here to Storybrooke County is because they wanted to buy a nice big house and to just live on a plot of land away from the city, away from neighbors. And they actually have this pretty awesome house. Uh, this came with Storybrooke County. Uh, they even have a place for their grandkids to play and fire pit for their family to hang out and a really cool lake that they can skate on or fish at in the summer and spring. So they just wanted to have, you know, a nice big house away from the city, away from the hustle and bustle. They're getting older. And they're just kind of ready to start retiring and living their life. So we're going to come over here. Here's his mom, actually. Um, I did make them in uh, Create a Sim. I made them myself because Rylan was originally, he didn't have family. But this is his mom. She's super pretty. Her name is Delia. And oh, she's so pretty. And they look so similar. She has red hair, which is why Nora has the red hair. She gets that from her grandma. Oh, cute. It's like a little reunion. Oh, I love it so much. Yay. Oh, I love it. So he, his relationship with his parents has really just gone down the drain. And, uh, you know, they just haven't spoken so many years. So um, he's going to compliment their home. No, you're not going to taste nectar right now. <laughs> he's like, oh, my parents and their nectar. Their house, I'm kind of thinking that I might do maybe like a little renovation of. Uh, it's just very plain and simple right now. But um, yeah, I mean, it's big enough for them to have their grandkids come over and all that good stuff. Oh, he's getting kind of hungry. That's okay. Go talk to your mom. Oh, they also have a cat too, uh, which is why, I mean, they're, his family is big animal lovers as well. And so they have this little cat named Torty. And I can't remember what kind of cat uh, she is, but she's really cute. Really cute. I know they probably should head inside because it is a little cold out. But that's okay. But yeah, I just, I just want them to catch up, build up their relationships again. And he just really wants to have, you know, his family back in his life again. He's missed them so much. Uh, maybe we'll praise. He's a little bit of a schmoozer, but it's all good. And I think maybe we'll then have them head on inside so that they can chat and catch up there. And I'm hoping that his dad can come home as well. That'd be really nice. Oh, they're talking about Nora. Oh, I love it. Oh, that was a horrible photo. Oh, Delia is charismatic. So that's kind of where he gets his little bit of charm. It's from his mom. And him and his mom used to be really close growing up. And she was always there for all of her kids. Very nurturing, very warm. And he's missed having her. He's missed having her in his life. But he's gonna call over his mom and be like, mom, come on inside. It's pretty cold outside. <laughs> Aren't you freezing? 
She's like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> she's getting a little bit older, so maybe maybe her memory is uh, going a little bit. But um, oh, she's seriously so pretty though, and I just love them. They're just such a cute little family. We'll compliment her home again. Be like, oh, your home is just so gorgeous. Like we live in this tiny little shack. <laughs> And maybe he'll be a little bit funny. Tell a funny story about the girls or something that they did. And talk about family. Yeah, just talk about them. Talk about Evelyn, who they they never really got to know Evelyn that much because they kind of just um, got in a relationship and moved away. And let's see. Oh, he shouldn't do this about his house, I guess. Not that he really loves his house too much. Oh, she's going to cook for him and he's hungry. She's like the mom. She's like, you know, your classic like good mom who just is friends with all your friends and is always like no everyone's welcome to our home that's who delia is that's who she is but she's like oh son are you hungry and he's like yeah a little bit i haven't ate since this morning she's like i'll make you some mac and cheese <laughs> hopefully she doesn't burn the house or anything i think she's a good cook right um actually i do think i gave her the natural cook ability so she shouldn't burn down the house, thankfully. But he's going to come and get kind of cozy, I guess. Just come sit. They have some weird painting in their house, I guess. And hopefully his dad will come home so he can meet up with him and maybe his brother. And so they can, you know, hang out for a bit. Did the girls get in the crib? Oh, they did. Good job, Evelyn. Good job, girl. But yeah, I want to get a photo. She's just like, I'll whip up some mac and cheese just real quick. <laughs> I feel like that's such a mom thing to do. My mom's like the same way uh, because my mom's always like, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Let me feed you. And you're like, no, I'm actually good. And she's like, no, I'm going to feed you. You look hungry. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited for the girls to like have, you know, an actual person or not actual person, but like actual family in their lives and not just their parents. I feel like that's oftentimes something that a generation's LP is lacking is that you start out with these Sims and they don't even have like family. Uh, so I think it'll be really fun. Okay, come get this bowl of mac and cheese. He's like, I am so hungry. <laughs> Please, I need a bowl of food. And she's like, of course, we'll catch up and talk over a bowl of mac and cheese. It's going to be great. It's going to be real great. Oh, the girls are a little fussy. Oh, we might have to hop in and check on them in a little bit. But I want to get a photo of these guys sitting down and talking after all these years. Oh, he likes it so far away. Aw, cute. This photo behind them is so weird, but I love it. So they're going to catch up and chat. I'm going to hop over to Evelyn real quick because Nora needs some attention. Uh, we definitely don't want to get our children taken away or anything like that. <laughs> That'd be really, really sad. So we're going to tickle her. Is she hungry? Yeah, she is. And so then we'll snuggle her and then also feed her on the floor and then maybe have... Um, Evelyn take a nap in the chair. I think that would help out a bit. She could take a nap there in the room with them. Okay, so he's finishing up his nice warm bowl of mac and cheese. And they're going to come over. And I'm just going to have him talk a little bit more, but he does need to get home. You know, like, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. He does have work. And he's going to enthuse about her cooking be like, Mom, your cooking is the best. I missed this. Like, I just missed you. Uh, so we're just going to... Maybe just give her a hug. And look at that. He's putting his bowl away. And she's feeding uh, their cat. Cute, cute. So he's going to come over here. And through about her cooking. And he needs to get back to bed as well. So he's going to come over and um, say goodbye to his mom. Give her a hug. And be like, Mom, I love you. Let's, let's do this again soon. We'll catch up soon. Although I don't know where the rest of his family's at. <laughs> Wait, where did she go? Oh, she's right here. Um, oh, cute, cute. She's so pretty. She has like the nicest little face, I swear. Oh, I love it. Oh, yep, she's a natural cook. I was right. <laughs> I mean, I made them, so that makes sense. But yeah, he loves his mom. Let's give her a hug. Sorry, this looks so creepy. <laughs> and he's going to head on home. Oh. I love it. So cute. Oh my gosh. Oh no. His dad is here. Crap. His dad just got home. He's going to have to go home. He's too exhausted. I don't know. Maybe we'll have him stay home from work. I don't know. But ugh, his dad's heading off to bed anyways. Darn it. I missed. Darn it. <laughs> I guess maybe in the next part we'll be able to meet up with his dad. Maybe they'll go out for a meal to the diner or something like that. Not that they can really afford that, but 
I don't know, maybe his dad will pay. <laughs> he definitely comes, he doesn't come from like a super rich family, but he doesn't come from a very poor family. Just your average middle income kind of people is what they are. Um, and then they just had a big family, you know? That's all. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, so let's put Nora in the crib and then Evelyn's gonna come on down here. Her little pregnant butt is gonna go to sleep and Rylan is gonna head on to bed. I feel bad that he has not gone to catch up with Evelyn, but maybe tomorrow he'll be able to talk with her and explain how it went with his mom. Oh, look at that. Him and his mom were actually wearing like a similar color shirt. I didn't even think about that. Oh, I love that. So, so dang sweet. Anyways, I think I'm going to leave off on this really cute, happy note. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are okay with me making a few changes, adding some more, I don't know, elements into this whole LP. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite LP, my favorite LPs I've ever done. Honestly, like love this family they're so much fun and hopefully in the next part evelyn will have her baby also why what's the money oh okay buddy go to sleep <laughs> go get some rest seriously go to sleep mateo move your butt we didn't get to have mateo go hunting for or not for food for collectibles but i might have him just i don't know i'll just have him go do that now but yeah Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions or things you'd like to see or any feedback or other fun story elements that I could add in, please definitely let me know down below. And just thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, make sure to hit that button down below. Also, if you would like to be notified every time I upload a new part of this series, definitely click that bell down below as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much again for watching, and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, guys.